Hey guys, Alex Hamilton, URIS Education. Right now we're standing at University Hall on the historic University of Denver campus. We're gonna show you all around this beautiful afternoon. What better place to start than on the northern edge of campus at the Ritchie Center, the heart of DU's D1 Pioneer Athletics and Magnus Arena, home to the reigning NCAA ice hockey champs. With nine championships, the Pioneers are tied for having the most ever in NCAA Division I ice hockey. Beyond Barton Lacrosse Stadium, you can see Centennial Halls, a campus residence. Alongside Cyberfield are the Nagel Art Studios in the Schwader Art Building. and nearby, Stapleton Tennis Pavilion. Across Asbury Avenue is Sturm Hall, home to arts, humanities, and social science, and containing various classrooms and lecture halls. Nearby, you'll see the recently constructed Burwell Center for Career Achievement. Lying at the heart of the university is the campus green, and across it, behind Sturm, is the Driscoll Student Center. On our side, you'll find the Ricketson Law Building of the university's famed law school, as well as Greek life housing. The nice thing about attending DU is that several buildings, such as Driscoll, are connected so you can enjoy shelter from the Rocky Mountain winters. Near the Carnegie Green is the Anderson Academic Commons, home to the university's library collections and study spaces. Across the green lies the highly ranked Noble School of Hospitality Management. Beyond, you'll see Mary Reed Hall of University Administration, as well as University Hall, where we started this afternoon. Near Booktoll Memorial Tower is the Graduation Green, where you can get a closer look at the university's historic architecture. Here, you can catch a glimpse of the famed Daniels College of Business. Adjacent is Marjorie Reed of the University's Theater Department. Which brings us to the Isle of School of Theology, as well as the C International Complex of the Corbell School. South is the Newman Center for the Performing Arts and the Lamont School of Music and its neighbor, the Ritchie School for Engineering and Computer Science. Olin Hall hosts the university's biological and chemical sciences. Its neighbor is the Sealy Mud Science Building. And at Betcher West, you'll find the departments of natural sciences and mathematics. Walking back north, you'll find dorms such as Johnson McFarland Hall or JMAC. You'll also revisit the Sea International Relations Complex. To 
the east, you'll find other campus residences, such as the Hilltop Apartments in Greek Life. There's also Nelson and Nagel Hall, which each contain housing and dining options. Nearby is Evans Chapel at the foot of the Harper Community Gardens. The Joy Burns Center holds resources for both Noble and Daniels. Frontier and Craig Halls hold the Departments of Psychology and the Graduate School of Social Work, respectively. North, Rafato Hall hosts the Moorbridge College of Education, which sits beside the brand new Diamond Family Residential Village. This brings us back to Sturm. Across the road is the Chamber Center for the Advancement of Women, which sits near the university's tennis center. And finally, there's the Cable Center and Museum, which often hosts university events. And that's just a quick introduction to the University of Denver. Being one of the premier universities in the region, DU attracts students from a wide variety of backgrounds, and it boasts around 800 international students between its undergraduate and graduate programs. This brings around a 60% acceptance rate, making it moderately competitive. DU does not require any supplemental essays, so I'll be taking the time to share five facts to help you decide whether or not DU is the place for you. Number one, although DU may not be the first school that one pictures when thinking of a storied university, DU itself has quite a history to it. Founded in 1864, it's the oldest university in the Rocky Mountain region of the United States, and with that, it's brought a number of firsts to the educational sphere. This brings us to fact two. DU's history has allowed the university to make a name for itself in various areas. In fact, various highly ranked programs such as those in law, business, and social work are among the oldest in the United States. The Daniels College of Business is one of the first founded in the country, while the Sturm College of Law and the Graduate School of Social Work are among the oldest in the region. Number three, considering the university's strength and diversity in the social sciences, it should come as no surprise that many students at DU choose to study abroad. At DU, this is much more the case than at other schools. Around 70% of undergraduates participate in study abroad programs. And with 120 programs in over 50 countries, there are plenty of options to choose from. This brings us to number four. There is just so much to do at DU, even back at the home campus. As a Division I school, DU offers plenty of athletics for students to watch and participate in. Their hockey team, with nine championships, is tied for having the most in all Division I sports. Greek life is also a big factor around campus, as around one-third of undergraduates participate. And for those who enjoy campus-wide activities, they'll be thrilled to find that DU has so many exciting events and traditions, including the Founders Celebration, which celebrates those throughout history who have contributed to the university. Lastly, DU, compared to most private universities, is among the most connected with its surrounding community. There are plenty of opportunities for undergraduates and graduates to volunteer for various organizations throughout the city of Denver, and the university maintains ties with several Native American tribes, allowing students to contribute to those communities. DU has also recently unveiled their new Kennedy Mountain Campus. This is located near Colorado's Roosevelt National Forest for students who are interested in learning beyond a traditional classroom setting. And that's all I have. So what do you think about DU? Are you a prospective student? And if so, what's something new you learned here or something that you're especially looking forward to? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to check out some of our other tour, fact, and essay videos so you stay in the loop for more content. And like and subscribe and make sure that you hit the bell so you see all the updates. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.